Copper Cap is a name that very few are familiar with, but someone who most everyone has seen. All because of one video known as Gingers Do Have Souls. Uploaded on January 14th, 2010, this three minute YouTube rant has become a bona fide YouTube classic, and with more comments than almost any other video on the platform. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that it really irritates me that South Park would say that red haired people don't have souls, okay? It stars a redhead boy speaking about how he's tired of being made fun of for his hair color, and that the Comedy Central show South Park in particular is guilty of this as well. Especially after the release of the season 9 episode known as Ginger Kids, which likened them to zombies and ridiculed their appearance in traditional South Park fashion. Even though the rant could have been viewed as justified, its presentation was comedic to say the least. Gingers have souls! I go to church, I'm a Christian. You don't know me. You're not God. <sighs> You're not God. Ah, he's a ginger. <laughs> he's a ginger. <laughs> I consider ginger a very slanderous word. Demeaning word. Really. What is so freaking different? Tell me! The quotable lines paired with the over-the-top delivery made this video a meme almost immediately. Similar to other videos on the website like Leave Britney Alone, another classic. Ginger's Do Have Souls was uploaded on a channel known as Copper Cab, which was the alias of the speaker. However, his real name is Michael Cottrell, and at the time of making the rant, he was 17 living with his grandmother after his mother had been struck by a vehicle and died five years prior. His father left shortly after, leading Copper Cab to move in with extended family. Ginger's Do Have Souls was the first video to be uploaded on his earliest YouTube account. And getting as much attention as it did, Copper Cab was immediately bullied for many of his remarks by those wishing to double down on the comments that had prompted him to make the video. His next upload was called Attention Haters, and acknowledged this directly. And as for the rest of the, as for the, all the haters out there, who say I can't make a fucking video, and telling me I'm fat and all that, I don't care what you say! I DON'T CARE! Things would worsen as Ginger's House Souls began to spread and be noticed by countless others. South Park themselves even created a promo for the release of their 14th season that directly spoofed it. It really irritates me. People would say that red-haired people don't have souls. To many, this seemed like a textbook case of an immature person getting too much exposure and becoming a victim to the internet's wrath. But that's not necessarily true. Copper Cab's childhood and rise to stardom seemed to check every box and make his story a typical tragedy akin to other infamous figures on the platform like Chris Chan. Or at least it would, if not for one small detail. All right, Forum, there are two possible things going on here. One, this guy is being bullied and he's about one bad ginger joke away from shooting up his damn school. Or two. He's trolling. I personally think he's trolling and it's all an act, but that's just a guess. As some could already tell, Copper Cab's behavior seemed a bit too exaggerated. A lot of what he said seemed to be an intentional tactic to paint himself in a negative light. Like his comments calling ginger people a race or the word ginger itself to be a slur. Paired with his tendency to get unusually angry and the fact that he'd lash out at insulting comments, people started to catch on that he was a troll. Copper Cab himself noticed this immediately, and much of his content from then on was dedicated to proclaiming that he wasn't a troll or an actor and his videos were intended to be a means of expressing his true self for the sake of helping others. Look at the amount of work they're doing here to make us believe that they're not a troll, not someone who posts incendiary content to get angry responses. I just smushed my freaking thumbnail in. I am not an actor. They want us to know just it's them we're watching, not a caricature. But what does that all add up to? When I watch this video, I'm not convinced at all of the creator's authenticity. I mean, this scene, It has all the cadences of something going for laughs. They say they're not acting, but they hit the surrounding shrubbery super lightly. Like they're, you know, an actor. And not a good one at that. At that time, YouTube personas were a lot different than they are today. Some individuals would play a character and try to remain as believable as possible either for the sake of comedy or to stand out. A figure from this same era known as Boxy was another such case. Someone who Copper Cap himself is often compared to, and even discussed once. You were trolling and all i wanted to do was express my fucking opinions as time went on copper cap's publicity would only increase all while he himself would continue to fight the allegations of being a troll but nothing definitive was ever proven by either side he would create another channel around this time called copper vision which he advertised as being for vlogs with his real personality when in fact he acted almost the exact same in later content this channel is going to be what i originally intended copper cap to be before it got overrun with trolls and haters, and people that piss me off, just to be, you know, point blank about it. Um, 
this channel is gonna be for people this channel is gonna be you know for people to see who I am besides Copper Cab you know cuz I'm really not a mean guy but I think you know me lashing out at all the trolls and people bothering me on my YouTube channel Copper Cab has given everyone the wrong impression of who I am, really, you know? If it's to be believed that Copper Cab's persona was faked, this could be yet another means to convince viewers the opposite was true. Saying he's a good guy only to slip into angry outbursts could make it appear as though he truly is an angry person and can't control it. When a more likely explanation is that every move was planned from the start in order to add believability to an act. But the question of whether or not Copper Cab is a troll has been a never-ending debate in the background all while his career began expanding. In addition to Copper Vision, he would create two other channels, Copper Cab RS and Cab Step. One would be for RuneScape content, while the other was intended for weekly dance videos. But the former would end up being deleted, and the latter would never receive any content. His main account, on the other hand, would continue growing as Ginger's Do Have Souls spread further online while he released more videos. He would weave a story of sorts between them with whatever he chose to discuss, all while giving countless quotable lines and over-the-top opinions. He would also continue to engage with trolls and sometimes other creators, with one of which being the music channel Shmo Yoho after they created a remix of his Ginger's Have Souls video. Copper Cap's response seems to hint that he wanted them to do it again. But his interactions with others continued behind the scenes as well, in ways that caught many off guard. Due to the ever-growing popularity of Ginger's Do Have Souls, announcement dropped on July 29th of 2013 that Copper Cap and his family would be getting their own mainstream TV show known as Hollywood Hillbillies. I'm portrayed as an angry person when I'm not angry at all. I'm a nice guy, you know? I mean, there's a lot behind that. I was kind of new to the internet. You know, I saw YouTube as a great platform to express myself uh, for free. I was just sick of all the South Park puns, like, oh, did you, did you have no soul? that makes no sense. Everyone has a soul, you know? Like, if you're a Christian, you know that. You know, I'm the Ginger Martin Luther King. Don't get it twisted. And I do it for the redheads because we need it now more than ever. But I went on there on YouTube. I got my message out in that three minute long video. It was January 14, 2010. I remember I posted it and I was like, I'm proud of this video. It's going up now. And I posted it and then like uh, by that night, I was like, people are watching it. Oh my gosh, out of nowhere. And it was just working how exactly how I had planned. I was like, no freaking way. This is unreal. That night, it went viral. The show aired to mostly negative reviews and was canceled on June 20th, 2015 after three seasons. But with his newfound connections, Copper Cap produced several original songs and high-budget music videos from 2014 to late 2015, such as Gingerbread, I'm Just Saying, Hotel Parties, Gunpowder, and Snowshoes. We got Michael Kitra uh, at Los Globos. Who's that? Hello! He's the angry ginger from the Hollywood Hillbillies. He did a little hip hop performance. He's rapping now. Although this appeared to have merely been a phase in his career, following the end of Hollywood Hillbillies and his music endeavors, Copper Cap ventured into other media outlets. At the time, the online world would begin to see an increase in political discourse as the 2016 election neared. Likely as a means of capitalizing on the controversy, Copper Cap's signature videos would take a sharp political turn from then on. In them, he would claim to be a social justice warrior and radical feminist. And the subject matters in these videos involve trendy political topics of that time. If it's to be believed that he is in fact a troll, Copper Cab most likely took this approach to draw ridicule to the ideologies he was pretending to align with, especially given his extremist stances. Whether ironic or not, Copper Cab's political phase didn't stop at videos. He would also make appearances on The Gavin McInnes Show for debates. Given that its host is an infamous right-wing figure, these exchanges with him would often become comedically heated and irrational, much like his YouTube rants. Copper Cab's recurring appearances on this show seem to be just one of his many side projects. But after a year of uploading, he would suddenly regain relevance on his home platform in an unexpected manner. I know a lot of you are gonna make fun of me. I know a lot of you are gonna think that I'm joking. But this is the hardest video I've ever made. Because I'm not. I, uh... I haven't made a video in five months because I've been going through HRT because I'm transgender.
This video dropped on August 2nd, 2016, and in it, Copper Cab claimed to be a transgender female currently undergoing hormone replacement therapy and going by Claire. This resulted in a slew of media attention and started trending on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube itself. Arguably, Copper Cab's biggest source of publicity to this day, short of gingers do have souls. But naturally, it once again prompted the question, is Copper Cab a troll? And if so, is this too just part of the act? You had people, producers from the TV show that you're on contacting her to like, kind of tell on you or something like they were like taught yeah they, they were calling and they weren't trying to tell they were just calling to see if it was real or not like they weren't sure if it was real because you know i have a history of kind of putting on a character and stuff so it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf scenario right you know, I've cried wolf so many like wolf wolf and then finally it's like a wolf you know i have a real issue and like no one knows what to think. This topic is by far one of the most sensitive that Copper Cab has ever gotten involved in, whether trolling or not. For that reason, even Copper Cab's most vocal critics take caution in making judgments about the situation. Regardless though, this new life path wouldn't last. From August 2nd, 2016 to January 22nd, 2017, two more videos would be posted with Copper Cab in feminine attire before uploads ceased completely. The next day, Copper Cab appeared on a stream by a podcast group known as the Drunken Peasants, but following this would vanish from the internet for nearly four months. When he returned, Copper Cab was no longer identifying as female and was seldom seen in the wig or clothing that it appeared to be his new style. When questioned in a Q&A immediately following, he stated that he was fine with male pronouns and that his identity was fluid. Copper, you mentioned that Michael and Claire are still here. What do you mean when you say this? It's like different personas thing for you? No, it's not a different personas thing. Ask another trans person and see what they say. You also mentioned that your pronouns or whatever, that they're pretty fluid. So what do you mean by that? It means that some days I feel more of a male and some days I feel like more of a woman. I mean, hi, hello, do you not see what I'm wearing? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what you're not understanding. On the one year anniversary of the coming out video, he uploaded another called, I'm still pretending, hashtag trans pride one year later, in which he goes into depth about this further. I know I have facial hair. I know I'm not dressing like what you consider or what you think a female should. But I'll have you know that gender has nothing to do with what, where, where you grow hair. Where I grow hair doesn't matter. It doesn't tell you what my gender is. What I choose to wear and where I grow hair has nothing to do with what's in here. I was going through a lot. I made that video. I started having really bad health problems. A lot of it had to do with the medication I was on. I had to go off of it. My therapist told me that he thought it would be best if I wasn't on that medication just for the time being. With the situation being as it is now, things are left in a state where much like his YouTube persona, there's no way of telling 100% what is and isn't true. Although even with this era having ended, Copper Cap's other ventures continued. Four days following his return to YouTube, he would resume scuffling with other channels. He responded to a now lost video made about him by a political creator known as Baring. After this, the two began talking, and Baring released their private conversations, prompting Copper Cab to confront him about it on a stream hosted by Baring and his friends. During it, they tore into him with insults, and Copper Cab created a follow-up video responding to segments of the stream with his own commentary. You know, you know, you know how we spoke that night, and, and we were on Skype a few times, and then I released the this, this Skype videos, and you're going to have me arrested and sent to jail on international law. That wasn't <laughs> all of it, mate. There's a lot more. There's a lot more that's really embarrassing for you and I'm gonna release it. Why would you do this though? What point are you trying to make by posting private calls that we decided were not going to be public? I mean, is this all just to embarrass me? To give yourself content so you can get money? Whether staged or not, Copper Cab's quarrels with others were only just beginning. Two days after his response to Baring's stream, he made a video lashing out at a musician known as Rukka Rukka Ali for utilizing his likeness in a music video called Gingers 2.0. Copper Cab reacted to it as he did with Shimo Yoho, but the music video in question was an altered version of an older one tweaked to specifically include Copper Cab. Given this, it may be possible that it was part of a pre-planned stunt to have the two collaborate. Especially considering Copper Cab responded with a challenge towards Rukka, asking to be in a song in order to prove his superior music skills. You think you're just gonna make a video? All right, you think you're just gonna put me, my face, on a bunch of South Park characters? You want me on a fucking video? Why don't you bring me on a song, Rucka, so I can prove to everybody just what a shitty rapper you actually are? After this video dropped, Rucka responded the very same day and accepted his challenge. You know what? It's on! It's going down! Yeah, I'm gonna put you on a song! Copper Cab versus Rucka Rucka versus Copper Cab versus... Jake Paul. Let's get it on!
Six days later, Rucker released a parody of the Jake Paul song, It's Every Day Bro, known as It's Very Gay Bro. This was very much akin to Rucka's other content, but the video opened with Copper Cap's call for a challenge, leading to a conversation between the two that transitioned into the song lyrics. However, the lines presumably belonging to Copper Cap had been replaced with an impression done by Rucka himself. This not only included the opening segment, but also the second verse, which was to be voiced entirely by Copper Cap. Hold up, yo, what's wrong with gay? Jake is the best rapper in the The next day, Copper Cap responded with an angry rant towards Rucka, demanding for him to release the unaltered version and started the hashtag, the second verse, to encourage this. This and the fight between them was most likely in reference to the drama between the Paul brothers themselves over the original It's Every Day Bro song. Jake Paul had evidently mocked his ex who had cheated on him with Logan, causing Logan to release a roast of Jake that had a second verse which he cut for being too harsh. These events occurred within days of Copper Cap's collaboration with Rucka. This implied the two were not only parodying the song, but the drama surrounding it as well. Rucker responded to Copper Cab's angry rant four days later, claiming he didn't like the second verse and had no intent of releasing it. Put the second verse back on the song, Rucker, or put it in there. I, I recorded it, I sent it to you over email, okay? I did what I was supposed to. I'm gonna shit on you on your own song, just like Eminem did to Jay-Z. Why should I release it? the second verse? Four more days passed, and on the 22nd of June 2017, Rucka put out a teaser confirming that he would in fact release the second verse, and did so on the 25th, showing Copper Cab's unaltered lines. In them, he references the Paul Brothers drama surrounding the original song. A person popular or not will come to you to make a track, to get attacked, they go home with a million dollars in a black. It's like, every other year this happens, maybe they'll finally quit when they hear his rapping. Because the only solution to quit all of the pollution is to quit clicking their buttons and give them nothing. Four months later, Copper Cap would release a surprising video in which he reenacted Chris Chan's entry to the Parappa the Rapper contest that had become an iconic staple of Chris's history. Hey everybody, it's Copper. Um, I'm going to be doing a reenactment of a video that was made by one of my personal favorite people on the internet, uh, Christine Weston Chandler. Uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about, she used to go by Chris Chan. She is the creator of the extremely popular comic book and character Sonic Chu and the adventures of Sonic Chu and Rose Chu. This was a stray from the norm, but its purpose would become obvious when four days later Copper Cab would interview Chris personally. But as the year came to a close, Copper Cab once again withdrew from the online world. Eight years ago today, gingers do have souls. I made it in this spot. Well, around here, anyway. Uh, it is really dirty. I have got to sweep or break. But yeah, I know I, I may seem a bit awkward right now. I'm coming off of a bit of a jet lag. I've been in Canada for about a month almost. I just got back yesterday. Um, <laughs> I was flying on the 13th. Um, not the day I wanted to fly home, but you know, kind of an unlucky number, but I got home safely, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make this quick clip, you know, quick video, thanking everybody who's been watching throughout the years. I didn't want to make some big edited video. It's the eight year anniversary of Copper Cab, and um, it's just like, I wanted to make a, a, a video just saying thank you to all of you who've been watching throughout the years. You guys uh, literally have made some of my dreams come true. Um, you know, by watching, you've given me the ability to, you know, do things like the TV show, like Hollywood Hillbillies. Uh, I was featured on South Park, Tosh.0, all kinds of magazines, you know, TMZ, all these things that I've done couldn't happen without you guys, um, obviously. And, you know, me and the people that watch my channel, uh, the haters or trolls, we've had kind of a, you know, hot, hot and cold relationship throughout the years. But, you know, as I've gotten older and I've matured some, um, I've learned a lot and I am thankful for, I mean, for everything that you guys have done for me, whether you've meant to or not. You've given me many opportunities that I would not have had otherwise, or you know, uh, if I had not had all y'all, and I am thankful, and I, and I appreciate all you watching, and uh, I know I've been quiet on the channel, <laughs> like y'all know me to do. Channel kind of goes, you know, quiet, dormant sometimes, but uh, I am working on some stuff, and uh, I hope you guys continue watching, and if not, I appreciate you that have watched, and uh, yeah.
With the start of 2018, Coppercap's uploading slowed, but he made a comeback in later months after releasing several videos calling out PewDiePie during the T-Series subscriber war, including a diss track. But early the next year, an entirely new era of the channel would begin. <laughs> Uh, Gavin, 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 Gavin. <laughs> you think that you can get banned from Twitter, okay? The moment I start getting fucking ripped and putting in fucking weight at the gym, earning, burning, getting laid and getting paid, baby. I deserve a fight with you, Gavin, a proper fight. I've been growing my beard, I've been shaving my dome, I've been getting dome. Oh. I want it, Gavin. I want it. I deserve it. I want to fight you. Okay? In the ring. New York. I'll come to you, Gavin. The next nine videos on the Copper Cab channel became known as the Iron Cab era. Possibly due to the Paul brothers pulling a similar stunt at that time, his content in 2019 surrounded a boxing match between himself and Gavin McInnes that he would attempt to set up by taunting him through videos at the gym. This would ultimately prove successful and the two would fight on May 30th, 2019, with the match aired on Gavin's paid hosting service, Censored.tv. I don't know what a weight boxing for the YouTube Bragging Rights Championship. Three one minute rounds. Despite Copper Cab's confidence, Gavin won the match. As this wrapped up, he spent the following months vacationing in Italy and England, with the majority of the channel's content for the rest of that year consisting of travel vlogs injected with some of Copper Cab's signature ranting. This would prove to be the most recent saga in Copper Cab history. In the two years following, most of the controversies surrounding him were fairly minor. He made two more videos directed at Gavin, as well as one at the popular comedian Bill Burr who had come to know of Copper Cab's content and acknowledged him during a show. I'm probably gonna forget this, so if my web guy is listening, please remind me to put up the YouTube videos of that redheaded kid. There's some poor bastard. This kid, I don't know how old he is. He's like 12, 13 years old, and he makes these videos. And he's just, he doesn't know any better. He lives in the middle of nowhere. He's just making a total ass of himself. Copper Cab also started a running joke that he's in a relationship with his half-sister Aubrey. This occurred largely within his streams, which he had begun releasing more actively going into 2020. I'm a feminist who said that women be treated unfairly. I don't, under I don't, I don't understand the, the fascination with me fucking a toaster. I don't fuck a toaster! The last videos to be posted in his usual style were put up in mid-2020 and consisted of a Gingers Do Have Souls remake called Gingers Still Have Souls, made to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the original, another rant denying the allegations that he's a troll, and a video of Copper Cap dressed up as Knee Girl directed at Belle Delphine following her return to YouTube saying that he'd filled her niche on the site and that there wasn't room for the both of them. It was also around this time that he got his own show on Censor.tv, the service run by Gavin McInnes that had hosted their boxing match. The show would span 17 episodes and start in February of 2020 and end on Christmas of that year. As 2021 began, very little new content was released, but he would see an unexpected wave of publicity once again when his YouTube channel was abruptly suspended. I, uh... I feel like a piece of me has been cut out. I've been on YouTube for 11 years and all I want to do is make people happy and smile and laugh and I hope I made you laugh at least once. When prodded, YouTube stated in an email that the reason behind this was evidently hate speech violations and that they would keep the channel suspended. However, after countless creators and fans alike rallied together and came to his aid, Copper Cab's channel was restored. I'm overwhelmed with emotion right now. I am so thankful to all of you, not only the YouTubers out there that came to my support privately and publicly, but also every last one of you who liked and retweeted and shared in my distress and chose to be there for me. It is incredibly inspirational and inspi it's just inspiring to me. And 
I'm just so thankful to have such a strong community, a kind community that backs me, even though, you know, I am me. Um, it's just, it makes me feel so good. I'm so, heart. my heart is so full right now. And thank you so much to all of you. I don't know what comes next, but it's gonna be great. <laughs> I love all of you so much. And not only do gingers have souls, but all of you do too. Much love, y'all. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. As of now, this is the end of his 11-year journey. One that started with nothing more than a simple rant video gone viral, but led to a TV show, music career, boxing match, and non-stop fun from hundreds of videos along the way. Troll or not, Copper Cab is truly one of YouTube's greatest characters. And while not being one of its biggest names, he's one that's remained a part of internet history and in the hearts of many. I guess in the end, gingers really do have souls. Hello, Copper Cab here. I've been making videos for about 11 years now. And in those 11 years, I guess I would say I've learned a few things. One of those things that I learned was to care a lot less what people think about me. You see, I used to worry. What people thought of me. I used to care. I don't anymore. You're gonna have your opinion of me. You have every right to think the way you do. I am a deeply misunderstood individual. I do not have the time or the energy to talk to every last person who comes up with an opinion of me, thinking that I'm some sort of joke or a clown or a comedian. If that's the case, I'm wondering what the punchline is and I'm not laughing. Anyway, another thing that I learned was to love myself a whole lot more than I used to. I built up a lot of confidence over the last decade and some change. And I hope that you find that same confidence as well, because I've got a lot of it now. We're all different, you know? Each and, every, each and every last one of us is incredibly unique and special. And we all have a soul. But we also have imaginations and dreams and nightmares. The world's pretty fun place. Go outside more. Don't just watch videos, make them. Let your eyes be your own camera, not your phone. Record the memories in your mind, not your computer. When you're old, all you're gonna have is your memories. 
if you're lucky. I appreciate you for making that video, even if I was portrayed in a different light than I would have liked to have been. That's okay. I know it takes a lot of energy and time to do something like that. So I appreciate you helping to keep my memory alive. Take care. Thank you guys just serving me. I was not.